I said to Aram, I have decided I must campaign. They have been designing, developing, producing and deploying a few aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles and missiles. A successful design is one that properly translates the design into an acceptable product, meeting the requirements of the end users. This is not an easy task, and the development and production agencies face several challenges along the way. The LCA Tejas is undergoing several flights and ground tests to meet the requirements of the users. The very long gestation period of development in aerospace products introduces elements of additional challenges <coughs> for all the agencies. Aerospace systems have become highly avionic and software intensive. Such like technologies change at a mind bogging pace. It is imperative to ensure that the user requirements are met and the design of these requirements are finalized as early as possible. The product, along with the technologies available on the date, should be released with regular updates to take care of the technological advancements. Research and development efforts to in our country are mostly government-funded and by government agencies. That too, very meager. This is where private industry can help both in research and development efforts, as well as in production. Industries have several opportunities to participate in major different acquisition programs by making use of our offset policies. If our private industries also invest in research and development, I'm confident that the requirement of our usage would be met, met with much easier than is the case now. After hearing the Air Force Chief and SA, I would also like to add a few words about the research and development. Everybody is telling India has got the uh, largest scientific pool in the world. And our GDP growth is also now commentable. Industry is going, growing very fast. Economy is going fast. All right, everything is all right. But if you want to keep the momentum of this growth, and you have to invest more on R&D. What is the real strength of US or st Europe or any advanced countries? The real strength is technology and efficient management and all round efficiency. Detail about all these areas and he is very proud about the achievements. Not only he, I am also really proud of the achievements of our industry. <laughs> really proud. The moment I joined the new university that time onwards, I am an allowed supporter for uh, scientists and DRDU. When I took over at that time, 99% uh, uh, of the talk about DRDU was fully attacked. Always they are getting brick bats. 